Hendrickson, sorry, Ole Hendrickson. Oh god, I can't even say it. Okay, Ole Hendrickson. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're doing my favorite things about April. And yes, I did make my own outfit. Okay, you guys, so today I'm going to start off with this little serum right here that I've been using lately. It's by Ole Hendrickson, the Truth Serum Collagen Booster Potent Vitamin C Complex. Just because I did do a skin resurfacing laser recently, and it really, really affected the coloration of my skin. Like, it really, really discolored my skin. This is what the product looks like, and it's loaded with vitamin C, you guys. That's why I've been using it, just because, as I said, my skin is super, super discolored under all this makeup um, because of the laser that I did. So I use this and it slowly but surely has been bringing my skin back to the original color. You can put this on and then follow it up with your moisturizer and it evens out your skin tone. So it's been working for me. And you can pick this up, I believe, at Sephora is where I got it. This one is actually, I think it was like a, you know when you get like a number of points and then you can like redeem it for a gift or whatever? That's what I did with this and so I'm not quite sure on the price of this. I believe it's like 50 or $60 for the full size bottle. This is a smaller size to what they sell in the store but there is a lot in here. I've been using this for about a month now and I barely even made a, like a little dent in it so definitely check this out. Next up you guys is another beauty product. I actually have a whole bunch of beauty products for you guys today. But this one is pretty much a really, really cheap um, blending brush by Revlon. I believe it was like 8 or $9, you guys. This is what it looks like. Even though it's the fucking cheapest brush I've ever bought, this is the best one I've ever used. And trust me, you guys, I have used a lot of them. The thing is with these brushes, because they are so cheap, they don't really bounce back as easy as like the more expensive brushes. And it's only like eight or nine dollars as I said, so you just replace whenever the brushes get a little bit um, hard. You just like throw it out and you get a new one. But it works wonders with blending everything together. And you can pick this up anywhere. I think I got this at like Target. You can also pick it up at like a drugstore like CVS or Rite Aid or whatever. Up next you guys is the Matte Fix Plus and I've been using this religiously lately. Like. I've been so obsessed with it just because it's starting to get a little bit hot here in LA, um, in California, like summer is coming around and I noticed that whenever I go out, my makeup is starting to move, like with like throughout half of the day, like, you know, sweating and just like, I have really oily skin on top of it. So it's like, this really, really helps me keep everything in place. But the thing that I love about this is that I do like to wear a lot of makeup, as you guys can tell, obviously. And I do wear a lot of powders and stuff. Like, I love setting my face with powders. So I tend to sometimes look a little bit chalky when I'm done doing my makeup. If you guys have a problem with chalkiness, just because you guys wear, you know, probably like a little bit too much powder like I do, you just spray a little bit of this on top of your powder. When you're done everything, you spray this on top and it gets rid of that chalkiness right away. Okay, you guys, so as I said, I do have a lot of beauty products for you guys today. So and I'm giving you guys all the stuff that I use on a daily basis. Like, I am obsessed with the Kat Von D. The Locket Foundation by Kat Von D. You guys, this foundation is life. It's not so much a day foundation just because it is super, super thick. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then, this is what it looks like inside. This is what the bottle looks like. And I have used from this a little bit, so if it looks a little bit dirty, it's just because I have used from it. But it goes a really long way. Like, I think it's like $35 for this, so it's a little bit more expensive than like the drugstore brand makeup. But it goes like three to four times longer than the drugstore brand makeup. So really, I think it's like, it's a good investment because I think you kind of almost save money on this just because it's a really, really thick foundation, so a little bit goes a really, really long way. Like, especially if you don't need that much makeup, you can stretch this for months and months and months. I, I'm i obsessed. Like, that's literally all I can say about this foundation is that I'm obsessed. Like, they have, like, literally a range of, like, a hundred different colors. Well, not a hundred, but you know what I mean? There's, like, a lot of different colors, and um, I'm just obsessed with this. Really, really good foundation for drag also. Okay, you guys, my next favorite is not a beauty product. It's far from a beauty, a beauty product, but I have been so obsessed with them this entire month, and they are the Snickers 
ice cream bars. Like, not just the regular Snicker bars that they sell, like, at the register. Not those. The ice cream bars. I mean, I'm obsessed with the ones from the register, too. Like, I'm obsessed with everything Snickers. Like, literally, they can put Snickers, like, in a fucking burrito, and I probably would eat it. If you guys haven't tried it, you're not living, okay? So you need to go out and try it. Okay, you guys, and last but not least, my favorite movie of the month was The Jungle Book. I do have to say, though, that some of the scenes were a little bit, you know, anticlimactic. Like, they would really, really build it up and then just stop right when you think something else is going to happen. Like, two or three of the action scenes should have gone on for at least two to three more minutes. That's just my opinion. But overall, if I didn't know anything about Mowgli or The Jungle Book or anything going into it, it would have been like probably like a 10 out of 10 movie. I also thought that Scarlett Johansson should have been in the movie more than just like five minutes. That was a disappointment to me, but overall the movie was a really, really good movie. I still give it an A+. Even though I did find like a couple things that I would fix in it, I still give it an A+. Okay, you guys, so that was my April favorites. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Do you guys ever realize that I don't know how to say subscribe? Like, I can say subscribe when I'm talking to you like this, sub subscribe, but when I'm just like, please don't forget to subscribe, I can't say subscribe. I'm saying subscribe. Like, it's really weird. I don't even know why I can't say subscribe when I when I have to say it right. When I don't have to say it, it's just like, I can say it. But when I have to say it in that sentence, Please, please don't forget to subscribe. Like, I can't say it. What the hell is that? I have no idea what the fuck that is. But you get the gist. If you guys like the video, please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.